haga sing kadu jong ka dor bar mang tengka ka ying dor bar tho an jong ka jela uba aden milar basoi moj uba u mla nano krem uba u doktor selestin lengdo mla nom sning kilon ra ya ka grand court motion bani kran ha ying dor bar halor ka jingsha set yap jong ba cherester field thank you uba di nong ilam barim jong ka channel si kitik ar ngun ki mla ka liang persia kila kan thari ka tan polit ka jela megalia bakam la ban ai ka jingsha kri ba biang tam ya ki pet ba jong ka jela ha ki ki jing kran U ba aden milar basa yo moj ulapan jing shai ban tip manu ba hukum ban siat yo ba cere star fil thank you. U ba presiden ten song ulong bala dep ban pan jing shai na ka ken hun bat ia menta ompat lawa no manu ba ai ya hukum bat ong ru ba ka jing tumuk ban kong e ka long ban kem ya ke unong ilam barim chong ke a channel si. Shushu u ba aden wa wan ra ia ka jing tip pai ba a lor ka jing shai siat yap chong ba cere star fil thank you ha jing sa a jeng u ha mau lai ken tan masar. Utew emele nanon krem kos twensi ula kento ia ketanan kampo ying kabala lech ban kenra ia ke ying sa unong ilam berem ka chan lc uba cherster field thank you kabala lam sia ke jingyap jong utew unong ilam ka seng et chan lc haka kat lai terik unai lar arjar arpoi kalong kumno ban balai emla ban kem im yo u sembut menteri rambak makmi ia ketanan pulit uba persetun ten song haba jebab ia ketik jengkeli uba arden milar basa yu moj ulai tu ba ketika kam ketik pula dep ban ia kerna hying dor bar thawan haki senem kebala aleng So before I move this, before I proceed with my submission, in fact, I would like to please, please, and record uh, that I would like to express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to the Honorable Chief Minister for having pleased to recognize my absence yesterday and did not recognize the absence of his own the minister. So. We are given 10 minutes in the budget discussion and we are being given 10 minutes in the debate on the governor addressed and we are expected to stay put in one place for more than three hours. I think that is not fair. So sir, coming to the court motion that we have submitted, we would like to discuss the style and functioning of police department. So, I want to be specific in my cut motion. So, I would like to therefore ask a clarification from the Honorable Minister in Charge Home. Who is responsible and who gave the order to eliminate Late Sheriff, thank you on that day. And whether the government will own the responsibility for its failure to arrest Late Sheriff, feel thank you alive. And I would also like to know from the Honorable Minister in Charge Home. When will the people of Maulai, when will the family members of late Sherister feel thank you, get justice? So with these few words, sir, I wish you mercy. Be brief in your statement and be specific since this is a cut motion. We will try, sir. Thank you for allowing me to participate in this cut motion that has been brought by Honorable MLA Sri Arden Basayamait. It is brought jointly with me, of course. So, when we talk about the police, the men in uniform, enough has been said. Beyond, the, beyond their inability to do policing on the new tribe, if we look at the police force as a team, they are doing a wonderful work. Be it maintaining the traffic in our streets, be it doing duties at odd hours, and any requirements that the state require out of them. The only pity is that they are not allowed to be efficient in certain areas. 
So my humble appeal is to whoever ties them down. My earnest appeal is please set them free. Let the police do their work that they are meant to do. And in adding to that, I would like to bring one serious concern of this group. All these years, the police force, the men and women in uniform, have been duly compensated for all the hard works, for all the holidays foregone, by being compensated with one month's basic pay in a year. But what we have learned now is that even though they have given a lot of sacrifices for their holidays foregone, they are only paid a meager sum of around 5,000, if I'm not mistaken, for one year. 5,000 for all the hard work that they do, I feel is an insult. If we compare staffs, officers who are in offices, staffs doing clerical kind of jobs, every Saturday is holiday, every Sunday is a holiday, every designated holidays is holiday. But all these three lists are not included for our men in uni uniforms. So my appeal here through you, sir, <coughs> to the Honorable Home Minister in charge, please, to see into their grievances, at least let us acknowledge the hard work, the sacrifices that they have made, and let us compensate them, commensurate, commensurating with the sacrifices that they have made. Let us not insult them. <coughs> And my last appeal again is set our police force free and let them do their job. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any other member? If there is no other member to participate, may I request Deputy Chief Minister in charge to reply, please. <coughs> uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. At the outset, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the honorable members, Sri Aden Basemoit, Emily from Nongkrum Sansi, and Dr. C. Lindor, honorable Emily from Umsning, who jointly moved this got motion in this August House to discuss the style and functioning of police department. Sir, before I touch the points raised by the honorable members <coughs> who moved this court motion, I would like to re read the historical background of the police force. Sir, Megla Police, which is the sentinel of law in the state, has been pivotal in bringing about peace, prosperity, and progress in the abode of clouds. Throughout the 50 years' journey of the state, Megla Police has overcome the challenges of insurgency, agitation, riots, heinous criminal activities, border conflicts, and many other things. The valor and courage exhibited by the officials of the department while tackling these challenges has not only received confirmation of distinguishable awards from the state government, but has also received nationwide recognition. The police department is headed by an officer of the rank of Director General of Police and under his command and control are several other police officers of the rank of IGP, DIGs, SPs, commandants holding charge of various officers. 
Sir, as on 31st January 2023, the actual strength of Meghala Police is 14,081. The Police Department is broadly divided into police ranges, district executive force, battalions and various other units. At present, there are two ranges which are Eastern and Western range, headed by an officer of the rank of DIG. Twelve district executive force which are headed by an officer of the rank of superintendent of police. Seven battalions including the elite unit special force 10 which are headed by a commander. There are seven units within the police department which are the special branch, crime investigation department, Di directorate of anti-infiltration, fire and emergency services, police training school, Meghala Police Academy, Meghala Police Radio Organization, and the law and order branch. Sir, the district executive forces, battalion and units perform specific functions as mandated by the Meghala Police Act 2010, which came into force in the month of February 2010. Sir, coming to the functions and duties of the district executive force, it is imperative to elaborate that Excuse me, sir, point of order. So, sir, since we have very limited time, may I request the... Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Deputy Speaker, sir, the point of order, the rule, sp specifically has to mention under what rule the point of order is being brought in. So, order or point of order cannot be just brought in randomly. So, the Honourable Member may specifically state what the point of order is, which rule, under which rule, sir. So, point of order, three, the rule 300... So is the point of order. That so the point raised. of order rule says that a member cannot raise a point of order for an explanation of his position or other aspects. It has to be a point of order shall relate to the interpretation or enforcement of these rules or such articles of the constitution as to regulate the house. So which particular rule is he referring to is what I'm saying. Sir. So my request is that since the time is limited, sir, sir point of order cannot be based on requests, sir, is what I'm trying to, to say. So there are rules to be followed. Sir. One member cannot just simply get up yeah, and put we, a point of that, order. Sir. Let the point of order be no, based sir, on the rules, sir. Besides the so rules, you cannot there, just get up and ask for explanation on yes, point sir. of order, sir. We That's my point. You're completely making a mockery out yeah. of the system, sir. No, we are not. We are not saying that they're saying that the rules should be followed and they're not following the rules, also, sir. Please, sir, let him give a point of order. Oh, by tradition and convention, also. I've been in this house, sir, for 10 years. Sir, sir the rules are clear. Go by the rules. A point of order shall relate to interpretation of or enforcement of a rule, please, sir. Please allow sir, me to coming to the functions please. and duties yes, of the district escape force, it is imperative to elaborate that the district escape <coughs> force is divided into two main divisions, which are the unarmed branch and the armed branch. Sir, the unarmed branch deals mainly with investigation of cases regulation and management of traffic, and ensuring smooth functioning of police station, police outposts, and beat houses. Whereas the armed branch deals specifically with maintaining of peace and tranquility, ensuring safety and security of the people, protecting life and properties of the common citizen. Sir, within the district executive force, there are several other branches or sub-offices such as the district special branch, the crime branch, reserve office, motor transport office, quartermaster office, and regional branch. Furthermore, sir, within these 12 district escape forces, there are 78 police stations, including two crime branch police stations, 40 police outposts, seven border outposts, and seven beat houses, and each of these police units are manned by an officer of the rank of police inspector or sub-inspector. Sir, across these police stations, 2,942 K 
cases were registered in the year 2022 alone, and 1,442 cases have been charged sheeted within the same year. Sir, so as mentioned earlier, there are seven battalions within the state, out of which two battalions are state armed police battalions, which are the first MLP battalion, having its headquarters at Maoyong, and the second MLP battalion having its headquarters at Gurgare. Four battalions of the state are also known as Indian Reserve Battalions, and these are the third MLP battalion, Sam Sain, fourth MLP battalion, Sokpian, fifth MLP battalion, Samanda, and the sixth MLP battalion, Umran. At present, the officials of the fourth MLP battalion, Sokpian, are performing duties in the national capital. So the duties performed by the officials of the battalions are mainly to fight counterinsurgency in the state, maintaining of law and order, securing of government properties and important establishments in the state. So these battalions also function as training institutes, conducting basic training for new recruits and in service training for officials of the department. So moving on to the special branch deals with collation and dissemination of matters of public and political importance. The branch also deals with providing security to dignitaries, internal security matters, counter-terrorism, safeguarding of vital installations, bomb detection and disposal, and dealing with matters leading to the interstate border. The branch is not only the backbone of the police department, but also of the government machinery. Sir, coming to another specialized unit of the department, which is the Crime Investigation Department, it is worth mentioning that CID organization is headed by an officer of the rank of superintendent of police. CID has several important wings under its jurisdiction, and these are the NDPS cell, women's cell, Fingerprint Bureau, State Forensic Science Laboratory, Economic Offense Wing, Anti-Corruption Bureau, K-9 Unit, State Crime Reports Bureau, and the Cyber Crime Wing. So these various wings and cells of the Crime Investigation Department perform specific functions such as investigation and supervision of cases relating to drops, crime against women and children, survey crime, offences, cases relating to economic offences and corruption. So in addition to these functions, the other branches such as Forensic Science, forensic science Laboratory examines biological, physical, chemical and document exhibit forwarded by investigating officers and render expert opinion which are admissible in the court. Sir, the Fingerprint Bureau not only examines sir, exhibits... under Rule 300, I, I would like to raise a point of order, sir. Under sir, Rule according to Rule 157, sir, time limit for disposal of financial business, sir. In addition to the power exercisable under these rules, the Speaker may exercise all such powers as are necessary for the purpose of the timely completion of all financial business, including allotment of time for the disposal of various kinds of such business, and where time is so allotted, he shall at the appointed hour put every question necessary to dispose of all the outstanding matters in connection with the stage or stages for which time has been allotted. So I think, sir, if we understand the timing, the timing is too limited. We have some other uh, cut motions. So may I request, sir, the Honourable Deputy Chief Minister, to be specific on the question that we have raised. Uh, sir, but uh, see, I think it is good that I read out all the backgrounds, yes. the history of the uh, police forces, because that is very important, especially this is the uh, first constituted house, where I think everybody needs to know. So therefore, sir, allow me to detail and also to read out all these details. This is not only for the benefit of one or two persons, but it is for the benefit of the members of this Excuse me, sir. Sir, so if uh, the minister in the replies to the cut motions will read 15 pages 
where are the queries raises only one or two or three, I think we are wasting the time of the house, sir. Sir, I think uh, when I reply, not only to the movers alone, but the reply should also be for the interest of all the honorable members of this August House. That's why, sir, being the first constituted uh, uh, house, I would like to read out all this. But in case, yes. sir, if, 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 suppose honorable members, the movers, says that we don't need that, then I will just lay it, I'll just lay it on the floor of the house. And this may also be kindly, ultimately, withdraw your court motion. Then I will just lay it on the floor of the house, if, if, if that is agreeable, sir. Sir. Anyway, Excuse uh, me, sir. the motions <coughs> once that it should be a little bit brief, so kindly. Excuse me, sir. Let me remind the Honourable Minister, the points raised by Ba Arden is in relation to the Chesterfield, Kongwir, uh, Chesterfield case. Thank you. Sir, from the... And the points right raised by me is only about the compensation to Sir. the holidays foregone for the police. So we don't need to know all the histories and all those 15 pages of the write-ups. We, we, we request the minister to come Sir. specific to the points that we raise. The Sir. idea is to save the time of the House so that we can go to many other important cut motions that are still following this. Sir, right from the opening remarks, I, 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 I've already clearly said, let me read out the background of the police force in the state of Megala, and then I will also come to those points raised by the honourable members. But it seems the honourable members cannot wait in the long of days. So if possible, sir, let me place it on the table of the House with a request then that the honourable members of the court motion may kindly be withdrawn. Sir, so, I think you can lay that in the table of the House after having clarified the points that we have raised. Then we can discuss about the withdrawal of the court motion. Uh, yes, that's what sir, I'm saying. That's what I'm saying because this is also part of my reply. It is part of my uh, reply, so why don't you allow me to complete yeah, this? You, you can complete your this. reply. You know, sir, because see, by debating like this, no, it, it ends nowhere. Bit bit and we are killing time unnecessarily, sir. We are, uh, you know, we are killing time unnecessarily. Sir. So by this time, I would have already completed one page of uh, Mr. Mr. Deputy Speaker, Speaker, sir, whenever we speak, you, see, you always remind us that the time is very short, make it short, make it short. So when the reply comes also, we request that ministers will be brief, That's not right. depending on those 15 pages that have been pre-typed. Uh, sir, in fact, uh, <laughs> it is better to be that to the be honourable be members, they get more than what they want. I think that is the blessing in this house. Uh, <laughs> if they get more than what they want, nothing like it. In fact, nothing like it. Sir, well, sir, then let me come to the Excuse issue. Excuse me, sir. We do not want more than what we what want. We ask. <laughs> we only want what we requested. Anyway, let the minister continue his reply with a... Yes, the request, request is to be brief. brief. The request here is sir. to be brief, sir. Mr. 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 Deputy Speaker, sir. Mr. Deputy Speaker, sir. Sir, questions are very simple to ask. Because you can ask a question, you know, what is an ECD mission? But then to explain what an ECD mission is and why we're doing it, it requires detailed explanation. So obviously, sir, the answers will always be longer because you have to give the context of where the discussion is happening, what happened in the past, how the situation happened, what are the limitations. You'll have to explain, sir, because the people want to know. And therefore, the honorable members would like to know. But then to explain a particular point, the circumstances and the background has to be given, sir. And therefore, it is necessary for the minister to give the background of the entire situation. And therefore, it's not so simple as to just simply ask a question, why? Because when you say why, then you have to give the entire background of what this. That's when you'll understand and you'll be able to put that particular aspect of that uh, question into context. Sir. So therefore, to put it into context, there is no other way but to explain every aspect of, the, of this thing. Then you'll understand because this is a sensitive topic. 
And hence, the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister is doing the right thing by giving the background. Once you understand the background, then in the context of the background, you'll be able to understand the reply better. So, so the, the Honorable Deputy Chief Minister is doing the right thing, sir. But of course, sir, I leave the decision to your wisdom, sir. Minister concerned to continue his reply, but a little bit brief his reply. <laughs> uh, sir, Mr. Dipshushka, I get confused, but okay, <laughs> let me not read out then the history and in fact the generic of the police department as a whole. So coming back to the issues raised by the honorable movers, by Aden Basaumoy, Number one is, he relates to the statement made by the Honorable Member, Dr. Si Lengdo, that one more tribe was created. And he mentioned that high-level committee tribe. Sir, as a responsible elected members of this Akas House, I never expect, expected such a statement be made. If only you can produce the documentary proof, nothing like it, sir. But just for the hearsay, for the interest of speaking, I think that is totally wrong. So we don't accept, government does not at, at all accept this kind of statement made by the honorable member that we need to create one more tribes in Meghalaya. Honorable member from Nong Kremsa, he raised that the police force, in fact, are very capable enough handling the issues of law and order or any criminal activities that has happened in the state of Meghala, they are doing well. And he mentioned that the only point where they fail is because somebody or maybe the political masters seems to be controlling everything for the duty of right or for the duty of wrong. Let me clarify here, sir. The government, the government at any point of time has given full free hand to the police force to handle things, be it criminal issues, be it law and order issues, or be it any issues relating to safety, security of the people of the state, the government never interfered that at any point of time. And they are really cap capable. So whatever you say, they are really capable. I think it reflects the statement made by the Honorable Member from Nong Krem relating to, again, the statement made by the Honorable Member from Omsning High Level Committee. Sir, this word High Level Committee, High Level Committee is always in the market. And at that point of time, when the MDA one was there, being the spokesperson of the government, I keep clarifying myself by saying, why don't you bring the members of that committee? Or why not file FIR, FIR against that so-called high-level committee members, if there is any? But it seems ultimately it's just like a political speech. At the end of the day, it happens. So, sir, I would like to say the police force in Meghala are handling the duties very, very well, no doubt about it. 
And as far as the case that that arrest of Lee Chiris Tanki is concerned, sir, in fact, everything has been already laid on the table of the house, along with the action taken report from the government. And I would like to update, since the honorable member wanted to know the status of this instance subject, sir, the government has already issued explanation call to the concerned team and number two now we just received the explanation call just few weeks back and now the government will examine in detail what is next to be done what action should be taken as of now, I cannot say anything on that, sir. But it is not that we want to delay things to happen. But let me assure the honourable members and the, this August House, the members of this August House, that the pending issue, the pending issue, as already recommended by the Inquiry Commission, government will take action accordingly that that uh, as of now this is the issue where i would like to clarify which is also asked by the hon honorable member from uh, from uh, nongren constituency ba aden basaromoy and relating to cisf the order of the honorable high court sir let me clarify as far as the performance of the state police force we are capable enough we can do it but i will not talk much about the honorable high court ruling so let us see but let me assure this august house that our police force are equipped enough to handle things in the state of Meklasa. Uh, then the point raised by the honorable member from uh, Umsning, Dr. Selim Dok, relating to the grievances of the police personnel, sir, I think the point is very, very valid where the these issues of grievances of the police personnel be it male or female i would like to assure the honorable member the mover of this commission i will examine i will go through all this and we would like to also boost up in fact the moral of the police force in the state of Meghalaya. And as far as modernization, sir, yes, very soon after this budget session, uh, myself and my team will meet the uh, Government of India, Ministry of Home Affairs, to also discuss more important modernization which needs to be improved <coughs> in the police forces, be it traffic issue, be it criminal issue, be it any other issues. That I would like to assure the honourable members of this August House that we will discuss this with the Ministry of Home Affairs. So, sir, I think with this few clarification I made as far as these issues raised by the honourable movers, both Ba Aden Basamoit and Dr. Silundo, I would like to, before I take my seat, sir. I would like to request to both of them to kindly withdraw their commotion so that we can pass this demand of crime for the interests of the police forces in the state of Meghalaya. Thank you. Now, may I know the minds of the movers whether he would like to withdraw his cut motion? No?
so I don't think that the minister has been able to satisfy and uh, his reply is not satisfactory sir because my question is very specific when it comes to the killing of late Sherestafield, thank you. Who gave the order for the execution of late Sherestafield, thank you? That is very specific, sir. Under whose instruction that these police personnel resort to killing the former general secretary of the HNLC, sir? Uh, sir, that's what I've explained. See, stage by stage. That's what we already issue explanation for to the team. So right now I cannot say anything who has given the order or from where the order comes from until less the, we go through all the explanation call which we already issued just few months back. Sir. So may I know? So, so may I know from the honorable uh, uh, Deputy Chief Minister, in that case, what was the actual, the, the original plan? Whether the plan of the government is to arrest this fellow alive or to <coughs> find a way how to eliminate him? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, yes, yes, sir, very clear. It is to arrest. Because I think, sir, let us not forget one thing. Uh, since the report was already placed on the table of the House, and it became also a public domain, let us read out line by line. We should not only read for that portion who committed this, 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 this. I think we need to go holistically. Then we will understand the gravity of the case. Why it happened, how it happened, what is going to happen. I think that is the whole idea where we need to. But of course, what, I'm, what I do understand from the honorable members, his concern is whether the government when they send the operation team, is it for killing or is it for arresting? Surely, sir, it is for arresting. So I think as a responsible member, when we raise the issue, we just don't pick up the line that we want to raise. We have gone through the report, and this is not a case where we encounter a militant in a forest or somewhere. It is a case where a person is lying on his bed, and unfortunately, that person was not caught alive and was killed. Uh, so General it General is General. very simple, sir. Minister has replied that the report is already there. And then they will study, the government will study the report and find out the person who is responsible leading to the killings of the uh, former General Secretary of the HNLC. That's what you have said. So, may I know your mind whether you would like to withdraw your cut motion or not? Yes. No, sir. Since the mover is not willing to withdraw this cut motion, I will now put a question before the House. The question is that the cut motion be adopted. Those who are in favor of favor say aye. Those who are against say no. I repeat, since the Mubar is not willing to withdraw his cut motion, I will now put the question before the House. The question is that the cut motion be adopted. Those who are in favor of favor say aye. Those who are against say no. No, say it, no, say it. And the cut motion is rejected. <laughs>